Was the Alien God's next move, the newest Ultimate One, or what we assume to be one introduced in Lost World 5.2 Olympus, referred to as Oort Cloud, landed on Earth early along with the Greek Machine Gods, referred to as Sputin, roughly as the Golden Sea of Trees, where gods and beasts walk in its womb, holding a vast underworld in their womb, the Jibao Bahara. Other translations refer to it as the Golden Rainforest, containing beast and Ishibalba in its womb, sleeping when Alaya is the primary force, awake when Gaia is the primary force. The follow-up to this revelation is a conversation between Muramasa and Rasputin talking about their new objectives, scouting out the situation in the British Lost Belt, and finding a new host for the alien god. Ishibalba is known as the Mayan Underworld, ruled by the Mayan Death Gods and their helpers, a place of fear and fright believed that sinkholes were a portal to this place. Knowing it was nearly impossible to escape suffering and death, they decided to die by in deaths before going or subject themselves to the trial. Few survived. The Orc Cloud, the origin of comets, is a cloud of small icy bodies as Pluto, or rather Neptune in this case, surrounding our solar system. Pluto may not be considered a planet anymore, but in a tight moon universe, Universe, that's not the case. It was named after Jan Oort, who proposed its existence in the first place. To sum it up, the alien god wants a better vessel, and Rasputin has Oort Cloud in mind, making the Beast of the End a larger threat than Solomon could even potentially dream of being. A combination of a beast and an ultimate one. I talk more about the group that this new vessel is a part of in another video video as well as the alien god. So if you're curious about those two, then I would recommend those videos to get filled in on what we know so far, even though the information is little compared to what the future has to hold.